sampling distribution of the sample means. You learned in your previous chapters about the discrete probability distribution and continuous probability distribution. In this lesson, you will learn how to identify and construct sampling distribution of sample means. Take note, sample means. This is our focus in this topic. You will also learn on how to find the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of the sample means. Now, sampling distribution is a probability distribution that describes the probability for each mean of all samples with the same sample size n. Now, if you can still remember in the discrete probability distribution, our probability distribution looks like this. We have the x as the all the possible outcomes. Say, for example, the dice. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then here at the bottom is the probability of the outcome. So we have 1 over 6, 1 over 6, 1 over 6. 1 over 6, this is also 1 over 6, and 1 over 6. And of course, if we add this one, the total is 6 over 6 or 1. Now, in the sampling distribution of the sample means, it will still look like this, but our concern now is the sample means. So this x here will become x bar in this topic, and still we have the probability of the, the sample means. Okay, so for example, a population consists of 2, 3, and 4. List all possible samples of size 2, which can be drawn with replacement from this population and compute the mean for each sample. But for this, we'll just focus first on how to list down all the possible samples of size 2. Now, how did we get these possible samples? Now, since this is with replacement, it means that the number can be repeated. Now, in order for you to list down this one without missing a pair, pair because this is of size 2 meaning by pair, then you can use the tree diagram. So, this is size 2. So, we have the first number is 2, 3, 4. And then the second number, so 2, 2. This can be paired with another 2 because it is with replacement. This can also be paired with 3 and then 4. Now this one can also be paired with 2, 3, 4, and this is 2, 3, 4. Because this is with replacement, meaning the number can be repeated. So if you notice, we have the 2, 2, 2, 3. 2, 4, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 2, 4, 3, and 4, 4. So that's how we get the list of possible all possible samples. Now, how about the sample mean? By the word itself, mean, we know that it also means average. So in order to get these values here, you just add 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So that is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay. Now, sir, why not divided by 3? Now, the size is 2. There are only two numbers here. So, of course, when we take the average, we just divide it by the number of numbers. So, again, on the second one, we have 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Over 2 is 2.5. 2 plus 4 is 6. Over 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. Over 2. So 2.5. Then 3 plus 3 is 6. Over 2. So 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. Over 2. So we have 3.5. 4 plus 2 is 6. So 6 over 2 is 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 over 2 is 3.5. Then 4 plus 4 is... 8. So, 8 over 2 is 4. So, we have this sample means.
Now, in order for us to create the sampling distribution of the sample means, we must list down first the distinct sample means. So, what are the distinct sample means? We have the 2, 2.5, 3, uh, 3.5, and 4. So, only the distinct sample means. So, we have this. 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4. Now, before we get the probability, we get first the frequency. So, how many sample means of 2 are there? Only 1. So, frequency is 1. Next, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5. So, there are 2. Next, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, there are 3 threes, then 3.5, 1, 2, there are 2, and then the last one is, there's only 1, 4. So, let's add 1 plus 2, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 1 is 9. So, there are a total of 9 samples, a total of 9 samples. So, to get the probability, just divide the frequency by the total frequency. So, this is 1 over 9, then 2 over 9, then 3 over 9, so 3 over 9, so the lowest term for that is 1 third. Then next, we have 2 over 9, and then 1 over 9. So, to check whether it's a probability distribution, we add, add all of these, and the result is 9 over 9, or just equal to 1. So this means that this is now the sampling distribution of the sample means with data 2, 3, and 4. Now let's have this. A population consists of 2, 3, 4, so the same data. Then we are asked to list down all the possible samples of size 2 which can be drawn without replacement, meaning the number cannot be repeated. So, we have 2, 3, and 4. So, 2 cannot be paired to itself because the number cannot be repeated. So, 2 can be paired with 3. So, we have this. And 2 can be paired with 4. Now, next. How about 3? Can 3 be paired with 2? No. Because 2, 3 is just the same with 3, Okay, so meaning it can't be paired with 2 again, and 3 can't be paired to itself because it is not it is without replacement. And then, so the only possible pairing for 3 is just 4. And of course, for 4, we cannot pair them again with 3 because we have this. This is still the same with 3, 4. And 4, 2 is the same with... 2, 4. So, meaning we have only these three samples. Then the process is the same. The sample mean, you just take the sum. 2 plus 3 is 5 divided by 2. So, we have 2.5. Next, 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then 3 plus 4 is 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So take note, all of these are distinct. So we have 2.5, 3, and 3.5. Of course, the frequency, they only occur once. So 1, 1, 1, and the total is 3. So the probabilities are 1 third, 1 third, and 1 third. So therefore, this is now the sampling distribution of the sample means with the given data and the condition of without replacement.